What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're going to talk about a game called Evil Bane and this is a game that's meant for your mobile devices so play it on your phone, on your tablet, whichever. It is actually a super fun game and I highly suggest you guys give it a shot. Alright, so this is like an action RPG type of game. It's almost like playing an arcade game right on your phone. And the graphics are unbelievable and the gameplay is action packed. So let's go over the game. Uh, some of the tips and tricks that I have to share with you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it. As a quick overview of the different styles of gameplay that you can have in this game, we'll go ahead and show the different adventures that you can go on. First off, you have adventure mode, which this is what is the tutorial and stuff like that that you get dropped right into right at the start of the game. And it introduces you to the characters and also the storyline that's behind Evil Bane. It's highly recommended that you do the adventure mode as much as possible because some of the best rewards in the game is dropped from the adventure mode. So make sure you do it all the way up until you cannot do it anymore as in it's too hard or else the adventure is ended and you have to wait for the next season which many of us have already finished it and always waiting for the next thing to come out. Then we have the dungeons and this is basically going to be your grind to the game. This is where you're going to fight the monsters all the way up until a final boss of that stage and go ahead and try to get gold experience and also gear for your character. Now this is limited by the amount of stamina that you have on your character. If you look at the top left of my screen, you will see that I have a stamina bar that says 8 of 30 right now. That is actually a limitation to these dungeons in that you can only do them until you run out of stamina. And uh, trust me, there are ways to reset your stamina with stamina potions and stuff like that, but you'll learn that as you're playing the game. Next up is the raids, and this is what you are rewarded from the dungeons sometimes whenever you're grinding them. So basically you do several dungeons and all of a sudden it pops up that you got a raid available. And you can go take on this raid and you'll fight dragons, frost giants, all kinds of different stuff. And it will bring some of your highest powered friends with you so otherwise guild mates or else just friends in general and you'll be able to fight the boss in the raid and get epic loot next up is arena mode and this is the pvp of the game now keep in mind that this is actually not exactly pvp as in you are going to be fighting uh the player but not actually the player himself. You're just going to be playing against his character and the computer is going to be controlling it. So you can outsmart the character such as running close to it and then running away as soon as it's about to use its ability. And then once it's used all of its abilities and they're on cooldown, you can go up to it and use all of your abilities. And it's most likely going to be hit by every one of yours while you dodged all of it. So the PVP is generally pretty easy. However, people will out level you and out gear you and still be able to kill you sometimes so keep that in mind the arena is the 1v1 situation of this game and also it's friendly to you in that whenever you are playing on your phone or something and you're doing a pvp match and you get a phone call well guess what it's going to pause the game and you're going to be able to take that phone call talk to the person and then get off the phone and resume the match where you left off and now we have the guild combat and this is going to be guild versus guild and they are going to match up the top nine people of your guild against the top nine people of the opposing guild and it's going to be doing it on a 3v3 basis so otherwise as soon as you beat the three players of their roster it will bring in their next set of three until you beat all three of their teams and all nine of their players and that will award you the win and also some points to spend on some pretty nice items in the game. And finally we have the daily challenge and this is going to be something that you want to do every day because the rewards are so good. It's got two portions to it once you enter. One is going to award you heaven stones which is a very important currency in the game. And the other is going to award you gold and orbs in order to upgrade your gear. Now let's go over the currencies because they are very important to this game. First off we have the gold and this is used to upgrade your gear and it takes a lot of gold especially once you get into the higher levels of gear. So make sure you're doing your daily challenge as well as grinding the dungeons and selling gear for the most part because that's going to give you a lot of your gold. 
Next up we have the Heaven Stones and there are three different types of these. There are the Weapon, Armor, and Accessory Heaven Stones. Now these are very important in that they are used in conjunction with gold in order to upgrade your gear. So once you have a piece of gear up to level 30 and you have used like orbs or even other gear in order to absorb into that, in order to level it up to level 30, in order to bring it to the next level as in take for instance this particular gear piece that I have on the screen in order to take it from rare to heroic I'm going to need this uh, upgrade cost that you can see at the bottom here which is 20 armor heaven stones and a hundred thousand gold so the heaven stones are going to be something that's going to hold you up in the game and something that you're really going to be seeking out in order to upgrade your gear so make sure that you spend them wisely especially the armor heaven stones because there's so many armor pieces that you're going to need to upgrade don't spend them on several different boots as in like one pair of boots that you like and then you actually need these other boots and you're going to spend heaven stones on both of them at the same time now get a piece of gear actually leveled up to mythic and then you can work on the additional stuff as you like afterwards then we have the crystals which is the currency that you spend real life money in order to obtain now you get a lot of these just by playing the game even for free so keep that in mind that you'll have them available to spend on certain things what do you spend your crystals on well i have two recommendations one is stamina potions because if you're able to refill your stamina after it's depleted you can go ahead and grind dungeons once again and that will give you lots of different currencies such as gold uh gear to sell uh, to get more gold also the experience and everything else that goes with grinding dungeons the other thing that i highly recommend you spend your crystals on is the armor heaven stone daily challenge so whenever you're doing the daily challenge that awards you heaven stones if it actually is giving you the armor ones spend your currencies on that in order to do that again because armor heaven stones are a very valuable commodity in this game because the uh, other heaven stones such as the weapons and accessories there's only a few slots of each of those so you only got two accessory slots for the most part and then you have only one uh, weapon slot so you're going to be able to upgrade your weapon and accessories pretty fast for the most part whereas you have several different armor slots and you're going to need lots and lots of uh, heaven stones in order to upgrade that gear so you're going to need so many heaven stones go ahead and spend gems on that if you'd like the last currency we're going to talk about is the friend points and you can obtain these by being in guilds and also friending people in the game basically whenever you're in a guild you'll have the option to send friend points to people in your guild and uh, as people do that and also your friends send points to you you can accumulate enough to spend them on items now the recommendation that I have is always save up your friend points until you can get enough to get stamina potions because stamina potions are very very good and allow you to grind the dungeons once again the last thing we're going to talk about is the events if you can see right behind me you will see that there is a button for events and let's go ahead and click on that and this is basically the way that it's going to reward you for doing so many different things in the game so every time that you do a dungeon or else anything pve related it's going to give you points for one side and if you do any of the pvp stuff it will give you points on the other side and you can spend these points in order to get certain items in the game and uh, usually you can only claim this stuff once they have swapped it up uh, at times so otherwise the rewards are different and also the requirements in order to even get points are different but right now and this seems to be the trend that they kind of go with is that one side is going to be the PVE options where you fight monsters and then anytime you do any of the PvP it will give you points on the other side and if you go down you will see that the rewards get very big as in uh, lots of heaven stones even heroic armor and weapons that are very very nice also if you complete all of the requirements above and go down here you will be able to start getting these uh, moonlit chests. now it's not going to be the same every time so this is just what's going on at the time of this video and as I accumulate points I can start getting these moonlit chests and it will give me additional heaven stones so it's a huge reward to go ahead and accomplish all this stuff and then get the final rewards at the bottom over and over again as I accumulate points 
I hope you guys enjoyed this overview of Evil Bane and the little bit of tips and tricks that I threw in along the way. I do have plans to make future videos about Evil Bane and show you guys a lot more tips and tricks, also the best way in order to progress your character in the game. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.